Hey guys, welcome to my week 39 post VSG update. Um, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. I feel fantastic. First of all, I just want to say thank you so, so much to everybody who reached out to me um, or commented on my video last week. I really was down in a funk and, um, you know, partly making the video and like talking through things really helps, but man, talking to you guys and, and really feeling your support, it means the world to me. It really does. So, so thank you so much. You guys are so kind. And, um, I don't, I don't just say that. Like, I honestly think this whole thing would be so, so much harder if I were doing it alone. And, um, it's just so nice to know that I'm not alone and that you guys are out there and that you feel me and that you know where I've been. And fortunately, you know, uh, that I can get past this and, um, you guys are just incredible. So thank you so, so much. Also, um, hello to Amanda. This was the very first time this has ever happened to me in real life that someone like recognized me from my YouTube videos. I went to my, uh, surgeon support group this week and, uh, this girl I had met before, Amanda, after the meeting, she was like, hey, do you make YouTube videos? I've watched them. <laughs> and it was, um, it was so funny to me. I, that's never happened. Obviously, at, like, WLSFA, I met people who had watched my YouTube videos, but that was kind of the point of going there. Um, so that was pretty crazy. Hello, Amanda. I hope everything's going well. You guys, uh, give Amanda a little love. She does not have a YouTube channel yet, but is considering one and is considering VSG for September. So... Good luck to her. Also, you guys, do you see how beautiful my necklace is and these earrings? You know Esther from Esther's VSG track? She made this for me. And that was a total surprise. Sent them to me in the mail. And I'm just really feeling the love this week, you guys. Like, you have no idea. Thank you so much. Thank you to Esther, especially for making this. This is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So, um, yeah. I hope you're all feeling as great as I am. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 20th, 2016 in Morristown, New Jersey at Morristown Medical Center with Dr. Michael Nussbaum. My high weight, starting weight, day of surgery was 265. I'm 5'8", I'm 30 years old. Last week I came to you at 180.7. This week I come to you at 176.1. <laughs> so that is a 4.6 pound loss for the week and 88.9 pounds down since surgery. Am I thrilled? Yes, I am thrilled. Um, last week I had gained 2.6 pounds, which was my highest gain ever since surgery. I didn't actually say that because I was just so freaking embarrassed and upset about it. Um, but it was true. And if you looked at my chart, which I always link below, you saw it. Um, so this week I lost that 2.6 and an additional two. So, um, <laughs> really happy about that. Yeah. Can you tell I feel better? I feel better. What happened this week? I don't know. You know what happened this week? I told myself, girlfriend, you need to calm the F down. Calm down. Because I was like stressed to the max about weight loss. Uh, how do I do it last week? I was so stressed. And you know, I, I really feel like part of what has gotten to me, who like keeps getting to me, is that I feel this like pressure, you know, like my one year's almost up and, and that is the amount of time that I have to lose the weight that I want to lose. And after one year, I'm going to go into maintenance and like, that's the plan. And you know, now I'm 11 pounds to goal and I feel like I have to get there in the next three months. Oh, by the way, today is my nine month anniversary. Um, you know, and I just feel like the clock is ticking and it's going super fast and I shouldn't waste weeks being stupid. Um, and you know, I just, that kind of stress really got to me last week and it, it wasn't the first time, you know, but I started to process so much of what you guys said. Um, especially of like, take it one meal at a time, one bite at a time and, uh, and calm down with all these like plans of how you're going to do things. That's what I was saying to myself. Calm down, calm down. Just take it one meal at a time, one bite at a time. Is this the right choice? Yes or no. If it is, eat it. If it's not, don't eat it. And you know what else I did? Now this is kind of a, a shift and it's a subtle shift, but it really helped me this week. Instead of making decisions mentally first, 
I made decisions with my body first this week, if that makes sense. Um, to explain, instead of thinking like, this is how I'm going to eat this week, this is these are the macros I'm going to try to hit, um, this many day of liquids or whatever, you know, like, I had been making all these, like, plans in the several weeks leading up to this, and um, instead what I decided to do was to, like, really listen to my body, and I know that sounds so cliche, and I wish there were a better way to say it, but um, instead of, like, thinking about what am I going to eat, and what time I'm going to exercise, and what time I'm going to take my vitamins, and, like, plan, 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 I decided to, like... Just listen to my body. If I'm hungry, eat. If I'm not, don't eat. If I feel like exercising, go exercise. And instead of thinking like, oh, well, if I exercise, I'm going to want to eat more and I'm going to this, this, this. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I have always been a bit of an overthinker my whole life. And I have always been a planner, if we want to spin it the nice way. But um, I am well aware that this is this can be a flaw and this can get in the way of my own progress. And last week it absolutely did. And this week I like literally didn't make a plan, like no plan at all, no macro goals, no anything. I just tried to make good food decisions and uh, listen to my body and drink a lot of water. And I exercise a lot because it feels great, you guys. Don't ever let me not exercise again. I feel so good. Um, and, and here's the other thing. Even eating clean, if you want to call it that, it's like low carb, but not like super low carb, I guess, but not like crazy just eat all the pasta in the world. Like, I, I don't know. I basically got back on plan without planning to. <laughs> just eating in a good, healthy way without... Uh, mental restriction. <laughs> I feel so good physically. I feel less bloated. I feel less tired. I feel, I feel, <laughs> you know how, <laughs> don't make fun of me, but you know how when you've had a really good poop and you just feel so good after? I have felt like that all week. Um, I just, I feel clean and, and light. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, but um, I just, it's its a very different feeling, and it's a very physical feeling. It's like from the gut. I feel light. I feel thin. I feel not bloated. It's like the opposite, that like horrible, heavy feeling when you feel bloated because you've eaten junk. I feel like the ultimate opposite of that right now. <laughs> and so don't let me forget that. And I am going to come back and watch this video all the time whenever I feel like, oh, I'm just going to eat cookies today because mentally I might want cookies, but physically I feel terrible afterwards. And when I don't eat cookies, I feel great after. So that's what I'm going to remi remind myself. And uh, if any of this is resonating with you, let me know because I feel like I made some like crazy breakthrough this week. Anyway, um, the shift that I'm talking about is making decisions body first as opposed to mind first. I don't think that's like a sustainable long-term thing because I have to plan things and think about things, but when I get to the point where it's too much, letting my decisions be guided by my body is a good way to go to help myself reset. Anyway, <laughs> I feel good, can you tell? Um, secondly, I saw my surgeon this week, last week, this week, recently, a couple days ago, and um, I know I said I wasn't going to see him anymore, but um, I still occasionally have this pain, and um, I saw my endocrinologist, and she told me my liver enzymes were good, so no gallstones, um, but then you guys said, hey, if it really hurts, you should keep looking into it, <laughs> duh, and, um, and then I saw my nutritionist, and she was like, you should really talk to your surgeon about that. And so um, I had the surgeon's appointment and I was going to cancel it, <clears throat> but I didn't. And they were like, yeah, that sounds like gallstones. And I was like, but my liver enzymes, my blood work. And they were like, your liver enzymes and your blood work, whatever, would only be elevated if you had just had an episode. Um, so what they think is that I probably have small stones that I'm like occasionally passing. And that's when I feel the pain. And then once it passes, I feel no pain. And that's why it's like sporadic. That's why sometimes it's at night, sometimes it's in the morning. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've been having this kind of occasionally random pain right at the top of my rib, bottom of my rib cage, right between my breastbone. But it's like, ah, uh, punch in the gut, except that moment of impact lasts for like hours. 
And um, it's only once in a while. It's not, I can't correlate it to any specific food that I've eaten or time of day or anything. Like, I can't figure it out. So, um, and it lasts for a few hours and then it just goes away and then I'm totally fine. Like, it doesn't make me poop. It doesn't make me throw up. It doesn't make me anything. I'm just like in this pain. So anyway, my surgeon thinks it's probably gallstones, even though, oh, so a lot of people had said gallstones, you feel it on the side. I haven't felt it on the side for me. It's right in the middle. Um, so I have an ultrasound scheduled for Monday, an abdominal ultrasound, and they will see if there are stones. <clears throat> and they said, even if that comes back normal, like if they don't see stones, they're still at, the next step would be to do another endoscopy like I had before my surgery to um, see everything and basically they said even if there's not stones the gall stone the gall bladder could be malfunctioning or the lining could be damaged or the fluids surrounding it could be abnormal or whatever like there are many other things that could be wrong with the gallbladder other than stones um, but based on the symptoms I'm describing to them they think it is gallstones so anyway Keep your fingers crossed for me. I don't even know what I'm hoping for. Like, on the one hand, I hope that it is stones because I feel like having your gallbladder out is relatively simple, kind of, and a lot of people have it done, and, like, there's tons of research, and, you know, everybody's gone through it, and so lots of support or whatever. On the other hand, I hope it's not something that requires surgery at all. I hope it's something else very simple that I can somehow treat otherwise. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I'd rather not have surgery than have surgery. I don't know. I will keep you posted. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about the exercise I've been doing. So, um, uh, I've gotten back to the gym. I've gotten back to step classes. Um, some days I just do like, uh, some cardio on the treadmill and like some free weights, uh, resistance training, but I've also been doing a lot of, uh, Pilates on the reformer. I've started going to those classes and my God, they are intense. They're so awesome. If you don't know what Pilates on a reformer is, uh, or the reformer is this like contraption and you basically do yoga moves on it, but it adds resistance. If you can imagine that it's so weird, but so like I'm very familiar with a lot of yoga poses. I used to do a lot of yoga, um, but being able to add a resistance makes them so much harder. And I am like sore in really wonderful ways and I love it. So um, three cheers to continuing to uh, learn and discover new exercises. And you know, I'm so appreciative of my body and being able to, to do crazy, weird, cool new things. Um, I also recently discovered that when I sit down and cross my legs, I can wrap my ankle around, I can wrap my foot around my ankle, which is so crazy. I've never, ever been able to do that, but I can only do it on one side, not on the other side. <laughs> um, so that's been a lot of fun. I feel great. I feel strong. I feel lean and I want to continue getting like thinner and stronger, you know, uh, leaner and like tone and athletic and uh, I, uh... <laughs> I didn't realize I wanted that so much. You know, when I started this whole journey, I really just always said like, you know, the physical appearance. I was very much in denial about how fat I was and I thought I looked just fine. Um, and so like for me, I really did not have weight loss surgery to look better. I had weight loss surgery for health benefits, but now that I kind of do look better, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> and now I have like a specific idea of how I want to look. I want to look really strong. So um, I feel great about that. And I have a question for you guys. Are you guys interested in seeing any of the exercises I do, like exercise videos? I don't know how I would do them. Maybe like film a few things at the gym. I don't know if that would be interesting to anybody. But if you are interested in seeing some of my workouts, let me know. Um, other than that, uh, next week is my mom's birthday, and every year for her birthday we take her somewhere fun. Uh, last year we went to, um, by her request, we went to Harry Potter World in uh, Universal Studios in Orlando, and that was amazing. It's certainly not the kind of vacation I ever would have picked for myself, but it was so much fun. I'm glad she picked it. Uh, this year we are going to Montreal in Quebec City, which I am really excited about because if you, like, Google that at all, all the results are like food, foodie heaven, best food ever. And so, um, really excited about that. 
Um, I also have secret hopes of being able to eat really good food and eat really healthy. So I will be documenting that journey for you guys. And when I check in with you guys next week, I will be checking in from Montreal. So that'll be fun. Um, I think that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hearing me ramble about how excited I am this week. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I feel like I have a ton of new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I love to talk to you guys and I will talk with you soon. Okay, bye.